I'm sitting here today with the antenna man. Now, 709, tell me, what is SWRs? Well, SWRs is signal wave ratio, meaning the amount of signal that you have versus the amount of signal that's going out. Example is, like, let's say, for instance, you got a radio doing 10 watts, and you key your radio up, and you only got 8 watts coming out. So what they're telling me is, your signal wave ratio is, you have 10 watts, but you only actually got... Eight watts that's going out your antenna, so your signal rate ratio would be two watts that's left behind. So your SWRs would be 1.2, which is fine at 10 watts. But now, if you add another 10 watts, so your radio is doing 20 watts, then your SWRs would be 1.4, because that's four watts you're not using. Now, if your SWRs, rather, if your radio was doing 30 watts, your SWRs would be 1.6, which would be too high, because you don't want to key a radio past 1.5. So your SWRs would be too high, you're allowed to blow the radio or something. Uh, so that's how the signal wave ratio go. It's the versus amount of watts you have versus the amount of how much watts is going out. So if you got 10 watts radio and you're losing eight watt, I'm losing two watts, you really want to get them two watts down to zero. And if you have a problem, I can help you out with that on shortcuts on how to actually get your SWRs down where your SWR is at. And so on and so on and so on. Okay, I got a question. Yes. What about input and output? Input and output is one of the main two things that a lot of people don't know nothing about. A lot of CBRs, when you ask them what the input is, they have no idea what I'm talking about. They think I'm talking Japanese. Input is the amount of watts that's going into the box. Good example, what I mean is I got a uh, three pill. I say the three pill doing 120 watts. And then I'm going into a five pill. That's the amount of watts that's going into the 5 pill. I got 120 watts coming out the 3 pill going into the 5 pill. Now, it's a good example that the 120 watts might not be going into I might only have 100 watts going into the 5 pill. So I'm losing 20 watts right there. So my input would be high. That's the amount of SWRs that I'm losing going into the box. Now, that's 20 watts that I'm losing. Now, to keep this in mind. That's 20 watts of drive that I'm losing. So now I'm not going to be able to drive my 5 pill correctly because I'm losing 20 watts. So that's what input is. So the lower your input is, the higher your watts is. Keep this in mind also, when SWRs is high, when SWRs go down, your watts go up. When your input is high, as your input go down, your watts go up. It's real important to the AC guys about the input. They're always watching the input because it's very important. That's the amount of watts that's going into it to drive their boxes. Any other questions? That's it for today. All right. Well, if anybody else have any questions, like I said, you got my website. That's uh, go to my website. And you can leave out whatever question you like. Thank you. Bye.